hello uh, welcome back to another tutorial on Adobe Lightroom version 4 today we're going to do some color correction on an image that was sent to us uh, for a photographer trying to submit this image to a stock photography agent um, it's an online site where you can sell your images and it was denied it says that you know and the reason that, that it said it was given was um, poor lighting okay so what you have to do is we have to separate the balloon from the sky the clouds and, and you have a better chance of getting this accepted so this image was shot with a Nikon D3000 camera um, it was shot at 1 250th of a second at f8 ISO 100 so the image itself is uh, very clear uh, very well shot so what we're going to need to do is brighten up some colors change the sky um, have a better chance for, for this image to be shot so we're going to go through the steps of how to do that so um, that way you can go through um, adjust your images as needed you know maybe have a better chance of getting images you know uh, uploaded to a, a stock agency so what we're going to do is we're going to start over here on the right hand side under the adjustment panel um, we're, we're not going to worry about the white balance um, we're going to skip over that uh, we're going to start all the way down here to where the clarity starts. So what we're going to do, um, I'm going to skip over the first part under you know the, the highlights, blacks and whites. Um, we're going to use later on in the in the the, the sliders later uh, down as we go because you always work from top to bottom in Lightroom um, to start changing the colors. So um, under the clarity here, let's change this to say 10. The image was, like I said, very well shot. Um, not a lot of pixelation in the, in the image. You can see a little bit, but we're going to take that out later. So we want to add a little bit of clarity to the image. Uh, vibrance and saturation, we're also going to um, bring those up to, say, 10 as well. Uh, I'm going to use the keyboard make it a little bit faster to adjust the sliders to exactly where I want them. And the tab key to move down the sliders as needed. Uh, tone curve, uh, and again, I don't usually use a lot of tone curve. Uh, especially when I get sent in um, pictures for, for photographers for portraits stuff like that but uh, you know this type of photo where you have a lot of landscape um, you know you can use these to your advantage so what we're gonna do is the highlights um, we're gonna need to brighten up the blue sky so we're gonna start doing it here in the highlights so I'm gonna use plus 50 on the highlights now you can see the image starting to get a little bit bluer in the sky uh, lights, I'm not going to use at all. Um, it, it's already bright enough. We don't need to uh, bring out any highlights in the image at all. Um, the darks, I'm going to use minus 20 to bring out the color of the sky, separate the balloon from the sky a little bit. And the shadows, also minus 20. Um, the next set of sliders is the HSL uh, color black and white illuminant sliders. This is where the colors are. So you look at the color of the image, and you can see in the balloon you've got some purples, some greens, and some blues, uh, uh, yellows. So what we're going to do is we're going to start to change those. But we don't want to brighten them up too much. Actually, we want to kind of darken them up a little bit. So the yellow, it looks as to be it's really, really bright overexposed. So under the yellow slider here, let's calm this down about halfway to say minus 50. Now you can see there's more detail in the color of that one. The green will do the same thing. On the left side of the image, you see that there's a little bit, it's a little bit too bright. Where That's obviously where the sun was, was coming from. So also we're going to go minus 50 on the green. And then the purple, we will do the same thing. I'll use the same number, minus 50. Now which gives the image a, a little bit more pop to it. Um, split toning here, uh, we don't have to worry about those at all. Um, nothing in this image will help. Sharpening, let's bring out a little bit of the sharpening of the image. I'm going to use 40 on the image itself. We'll leave the radius the same. We'll leave detail the same. And we don't have to worry about masking, we're not going to change that. And then you go down to the next one, which is noise reduction. Um, and again, you can see in the blue sky right here, there's a little bit of pixelation. 
And, and this is probably why they denied this image. It's not because the image was shot poorly, um, but there's a little bit of pixelation in the image. Um, you know, the Nikon D3000 camera, I, I want to say it's a 10 megapixel camera, which is a really good megapixel. But when you're shooting against a bright sky, uh, you're going to get a little bit of pixelation. So this is what we're going to do. Under the luminance slider, we're going to move this up quite a bit to say 70. Now you're going to see that pixelation just disappear in the background. Um, we still want a lot of detail in the image as far as the hot air balloon itself, uh, the basket. So this we're going to keep up there pretty high at 90. Contrast, let's, let's bring this up again. Let's bring this to about 75. Okay, color, detail, uh, I'm not going to adjust those at all. Uh, lens correction, you know, if you wanted to change the, the image yourself, uh, this was shot with a Nikon camera. Uh, this is the the lens, which is a Nikkor 18 to 55 millimeter f 3.5. So if you wanted to change this and make it something completely different, these are all the different lenses that you have in your, your library in which to use, but I'm not going to change that. I mean, if you wanted to make it look something, you know, a, a fisheye type lens, you, you know, you can use that type of a filter. I'm not going to do that. The image was shot very well, so we're going to leave that uh, unchecked. Um, remove chromatic aberration. You know, you can do this. Uh, it's On Lightroom 4, this is a very easy very you know good thing to do on certain images um, on this image there's not a lot of uh, chromatic aberration so we'll just leave that unchecked as well and then we can go all the way down to the camera calibrations okay this is where we're going to do the last bit of the image to bring out the color of the sky and separate the balloon so under the primary blue under the saturation we're not going to change the hue if we do you're going to see you give it almost an, an uneven look that it doesn't look natural. So they would definitely deny your image if you use this one. Saturation, if we bring it down, it's going to make it look kind of gray like it was in the beginning. But we want to bring it to the higher side and, and give this image a really clear blue sky. So we'll raise this to say 80. And, and these are the adjustments you have to make. Um, so what we've done now, we've separated the balloon from the background. And then the sky itself, there's a little bit of clouds in the background. And at the bottom of the image, you can see there's a little bit of a haze or another cloud that was down there. So what you can do is now you can go down here and, and, and switch between the before and afters to see, you know, this is what we started with. Again, um, even though, you know, the camera itself, you know, picked up the balloon very well, but it, it overexposes the background. Um, kind of like what you get when you're out the ocean, you know, um, you, you see a lot of, you know, a lot of pictures, especially if you're down by the ocean, they turn out better in black and white. And this is the reason why, because you just can't get the color out of it. But you can do it with this one. So, um, you know, you know, again, the over, under, before, and after. So you have a full view um, above, below, then side by side. So, you know, these are the simple steps, especially if you're trying to send something to um, a stock photography agent. Uh, they have you know all kind of things they'll deny images for you know the image was shot you know pretty well in the rule of thirds you know so that would not be an issue so the color issue that they had was simple so this is how you do it so if you have any questions on the steps we we did on this video to to step you through how to bring out those colors of the balloon make it look more natural um you know send us a comment uh, give you know, send us an email and we'll get back to you on you know, if you have any other questions send us a, 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 an image and we'll look at what you've got and see if we can help you bring out some better color so thank you very much and I hope this helps